Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I am the founder of WiseUp and I have three research papers published in high quality journals. In this video, I am going to share with you the entire research paper format. What sections to include, how to tailor your paper based on the journal you are submitting to and also share an amazing AI tool, PaperPal, that can make this entire process faster and so much easier. I am also going to share with you a downloadable template of the research paper format. So stick with me till the very end. The first thing you should know is the difference between a published paper and the manuscript. The final research paper that you see online and the manuscript that we submit to the journal are not the same. We usually submit the manuscript in a simple format. And once our research paper gets accepted, the editorial team of the journal polishes it to the clean professional version that eventually gets published. So our responsibility is to submit our research paper in a simple, well-structured manuscript based on basic journal formatting guidelines. Now, how do we prepare this manuscript? We can prepare this manuscript on either Latex or MS Word. For those of you who don't know, Latex is a typesetting system used to prepare high quality documents like research papers, technical reports, thesis, etc. It's not like MS Word where you need to click to format things. Here, you need to write code like commands and Latex does the formatting for you. So if your research paper involves a lot of mathematical equations, complex symbols, chemical formulas, then I would highly recommend that you go with latex. However, if your research paper is more experimental or descriptive and does not involve too many formulas, then MS Word works just fine as well. But if you're still confused between the two, then I have linked the downloadable template for both latex and MS Word in the description below for you. So you can download it to better understand what works for you. Now, since Latex automatically does the formatting, let's talk about the general formatting guidelines for MS Word in case that's what you've chosen. For MS Word, you can go with the font Times New Roman with 12 font size, Arial with 11 font size or Calibri with 11 font size. Spacing, you should keep it as double spaced. Margins should be one inch on all the sides. Indentation, first line of each paragraph and page number should be present at the top right corner. Now, when it comes to figures and tables, you can add them in the manuscript close to the paragraph where you first mention them. Later on, you can upload high quality version of these along with your research paper directly on the journal website. Now, as a rule of thumb, the captions for the figures are mentioned below it and those for the tables are mentioned above it. Make sure to number your figures and tables correctly and also cross reference them in the main text. Now, let's talk about the structure of your research paper. For this, I'm going to walk you through my research paper and then show you some of the most important sections that you need to include in your manuscript. The first is the title and it needs to be concise, specific and showcase the novelty of your work. After that comes author names and affiliations. So for writing the author's names, we follow a hierarchy. The first author is usually the person who has contributed the most in terms of research as well as writing the paper which in most cases is going to be you if the research is based on your project. After that, in descending order, you're going to list down all the other authors who have contributed to your research. Usually, the last author is the professor or your guide who has supervised you throughout. Along with this, you also need to share a corresponding author, basically the person who's going to be communicating with the journal. And that also in most cases is your professor or your guide. After that, you will list down all the affiliations, basically the institutes or organizations the authors were affiliated to, be it a university, lab or research center, and the time the research was conducted. If authors belong to different institutes, then that is usually showcased with the help of a superscript number or a symbol. After that comes the abstract, where in 150 to 250 words, you summarize your entire paper and also add 3 to 5 relevant keywords for your research. Some journals might also ask you to submit a graphical abstract, which is basically a pictorial representation of the abstract that you've written. I've done a detailed video on it, which you can check out later if you want to know more. Then comes the main body of the paper, which includes these key sections. First is the introduction, which talks about why is your research important and worth taking up. After that comes the materials and methods section, where you actually explain how have you conducted the study. Then comes the results and discussion section where you talk about what did you find and what do these results mean. 
And finally comes the conclusion section where you summarize the key findings and share the scope of future work. Now, if you want to know in detail how to write each and every section of a research paper, how to cite and reference information correctly, how to avoid plagiarism, and what are all the AI tools that you can use in this process, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. The link is in the description. After that comes the references section where all the literature you've referred to is neatly listed down. Now for your citations and references, I would highly recommend that you use a reference manager such as Zotero or Mendeley, which can save you hours of work. After this, you will also find some optional sections such as acknowledgement where you thank the organizations which have given you a funding grant to do this research, conflict of interest if you have any and appendices where you share any supplementary information such as formulas, calculations, extra data, etc. Now all of this might sound like a lot of work, which is why you need an academic writing AI tool like PaperPal. With PaperPal, you can first generate the outline of your research paper. All you need to do is click on create an outline, choose a research article, enter your research field and explain the topic of your work briefly. And PaperPal will give you all the key sections you should be including. In fact, not just your research paper, in future you can generate an outline for any type of document, be it your thesis, systematic review or even a review article. All you need to do is feed the instructions to PaperPal or attach the notes for more context and it will generate it for you. Now, once you've prepared a basic draft of your research paper, you can further enhance it with powerful AI commands such as edit, which will check for language and consistency and rewrite where you can paraphrase the writing from other research papers to avoid any accidental plagiarism. We also have make academic feature where you can change the casual tone of your writing to a more academic style and various other options that do a great job in enhancing your overall research article and making it journal ready. You can also cite papers on the go. For this, simply select the text you would like to support, search for papers and then cite them. This improves the overall credibility of your work and provides you with enough evidence to support your claims. What I love about PaperPal are these awesome checkers such as the plagiarism checker that helps in removing any accidental plagiarism we may have committed and the journal checker which checks our research paper against standard journal requirements to avoid rejection. Both these checkers are unique to PaperPal and not being offered by any other AI tool as of now. Also, another amazing feature of PaperPal are these ready-made templates like email to the journal where you can create a cover letter, inquire about the status, ask for extension, etc. in literally seconds. Something which would have taken you so long to draft and literally feels like a burden after writing an entire lengthy research paper. So I highly recommend using PaperPal to make this entire research paper writing process a breeze. Also, new offers keep coming up for PaperPal, so if you want to know the latest discounts, you can join our WhatsApp channel where we share this information for you. The link is also in the description. And now, let's cover the last topic which is journal specific formatting. The draft that you would be preparing would be a general version. Once you've shortlisted your journal, the first thing you need to do is go to the journal website and see the author guidelines. Based on that, you might have to make some changes to the structure of the paper. For example, some journals keep the results and discussion section together while some keep it separate. You might have a word limit that you need to adhere to. Some journals also share with you the Microsoft Word or the Latex template that you need to use. But most important change you will have to do is in the citation style. Every journal has their own citation style that you need website, feed it to your reference manager like Zotero or Mendeley and then make this change accordingly. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope you've understood what a research paper format looks like and how to tailor it to the journal you're submitting to. Now, if you wish to learn in detail how to write your entire research paper, then you can join me for my course on A to Z of research paper writing. Also, don't forget to check out PaperPal to write your research paper faster and more efficiently. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a fantastic research journey ahead.